Hello everyone, and uh, today um, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade in the uh, transmer, which is a uh, uh, code name is MK9082 in the firmware and uh, to the latest Android. So the latest Android uh, as of today is 4.3. So the version in general shipped with the device is 4.1 or 4.0. So then I gonna walk you through how to upgrade the firmware. So this is a Transmart and uh, I, which I bought from uh, uh, eBay or online. And uh, it's a front says Transmart and the mini PC quad core E9 processor. And uh, if you notice, you will have a several port. So for the firmware upgrade, the important port is this one. It's called o OTG port. This is the important port, and uh, you're gonna plug in and get everything connected to up, uh, upgrade. So, I presume you already downloaded the latest firmware, which is 4.3 for uh, MK908, and uh, so I will not uh, display how do you get that. And uh, what I'm gonna show you is how to upgrade. Okay. And uh, the tools is pretty simple. So you're gonna have this one as a mini USB port. And uh, if you can see that, and uh, it's easy. So that should fit this OTG port. So another one is a little bit tricky because uh, it is something like a needle. And uh, that needle need in, uh, plug into this hole. If you see this little hole. Over here, yeah, on top over here, that's a little hole. So what I do is uh, it's easy for me. I just use a a stable and uh, just bend it a little bit so on the table, and uh, you see it's a little stable. So I can plug in that hole and push it. Oh, the bottom. This is the one. So it's a fully that side is gonna be this side. So it's the bottom one. It's, this is this is gonna be the hole, and if you lay the layout, if this is a mini HDMI port, so that's gonna be the hole. You you push this little pin in there. So what you do is a little bit tricky. So you're gonna use both your hand. So one hand hold it, the other hand plug in the OTG port. Okay. So I'm gonna show you to do it that way. Plug in it, you can feel it as a click, then plug this one in. It's a little bit tricky, but several try you can you can do it. Okay. Then on the computer you will see the device is available. Okay, so as long as this one plug in, you'll be ready. Okay, then release it. And the, the tools, what we are using is, uh, is called the uh, rocket chip in the batch tools. So I'm gonna show you how to use that. All right, so this is a rocket chip in the software. If you look at the, the window, you can see that. Okay, so, and uh, let me click this one. All right, so once click, and uh, you will see, certainly you will see this one. The number is showed up over here. It's connected. That means everything what we did before and it's working, okay? Then I will use this browser window to browse the, the firmware because I previously downloaded it. As, uh, this is the version, okay? Open and uh, the loading firmware finished. Then I will just click upgrade then everything will be set so i'm not gonna wait in the uh, uh, entire process to finish and uh, as long as you click on upgrade it's gonna go and uh, everything will be set okay all right thank you for watching this video hello everyone and uh, in this video uh, i will show you how to connect the uh, uh, mk908 and to uh, to this one to Motorola laptop and uh, 
you probably can see the previous video and which is a, uh, the early version but this is going to be a later version after the firmware upgrade the amazing thing is uh, for this one it can work with the the full display which is a 1080p okay so this one already got the firmware updated and uh, I run it once and hopefully this time it's still gonna run because uh, I have my cable so fragile and it may uh, it may break any time but hopefully it's gonna work okay so in the left dock it's a uh, there are two typical port right? so this is a mi uh, micro HDMI port this is a micro USB port so I have a female port plug into micro micro USB port and uh, this is a uh, also a female and uh, micro HDMI port okay after the connected I have this one is a mini male HDMI port and then connect to MK908 okay connect over here and the USB port because uh, don't worry about this one this one I leave the this is for the previous device I just leave it as long as uh, this is regular USB work it will be fine okay I plug in over here but not done yet the important piece is power so the MK908 need uh, enough power to power a uh, full display which is 1080p so I plug in power to this port okay all connected let's uh, turn it on see how it goes So as you see, it's just as easy as, as that and uh, everything is on and uh, you can run mail, you can run browser or anything you like and uh, it's just working. Okay, thank you for watching.